everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to do a kitting up on this Scottish Terrier canvas. Um, I thought it looked like Millie, I think you can see the outline of the Scotty there. And I thought it just looked like my lovely little Millie Moo. So I thought, right, I'm going to get this. And it was last July that I ordered it. And it's from Yugo Top on AliExpress. And it's a 50 by 40. Now, when it came, it's not the best canvas in the world. And I've previously done another one that I ordered at the same time and the drills were awful and it took ages to do and it wasn't as big as this. So I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off thinking I really don't want to do that canvas but I love the picture. So I came up with a brainwave last night and rightly or wrongly I've decided to cut it down. So I now have it's 39 inches that way and 36 inches that way. I worry about framing it at a later date. I may just put it on mount board. Um, I'll tidy the edges up when I get a chance, but I've just literally cut the edges off, as you can see. And there is a lot of green that I thought, well, what's the point in doing all that greenery and struggling with it when I might as well just cut it off and not do it? So that's what I've done. And yeah, I've paid for a 40 by uh, 50 by 40 canvas and I've cut it down. But I'd rather do that than not do the picture at all and leave it just sat there thinking I'm never going to get around to it. I don't know whether you can pick this up on the camera, but there are some horrendous rivers on this canvas. I have flattened them down. No, it's not going to pick them up now. I have used... A knife, I wonder if it'll pick that one up. No, it's not going to. Um, but literally, there are rivers running. There's a great big one that runs right the way from the top down to there. There's one that's running all the way down the middle up there and another one next to it. And then there's a great big one running up there. So what I've done is just get my craft knife and I've run the craft knife up the river and then just scored across them so that it will flatten down. But yeah, I thought, well... I love the picture, the, uh, hopefully the expression, but I wanted it a bigger canvas because I wanted the expression to come out because it just looks lo so much like my little Millie Moo. So what I'm going to do then is kit this up. I've checked the drills off already and I've got my storage ready, but first I'm going to cover this canvas up so I, I don't lean on it. Obviously I'm going to end up with an awful lot of green drills left over. Um, I just keep my little cover sheets that I got from Amazon, just got a pack of them, I just keep them in one of the little boxes that um, my um, drills came in. It's one of these little 28 container drill things. I found I had some that the lids weren't shutting properly and I'd fought with them long enough so I've got rid of them and just kept the little box that they come in and it's just an ideal size for my little sheets. So let's get this covered up. Obviously, I've not got an edge, so I'm going to have to be really careful doing this one. Um, I've taken the big cover sheet off because I want to be able to work on this in sections. I have to admit, I do find that working in sections, I do overlap mine a little bit as well when I do them um, and then just move them about. I'm going to overlap the edge as well because I've not got that edge. It does bother me a little bit doing that. But we'll see how we go. It may or may not work. And if it doesn't work, well, then I've lost a painting that I probably wasn't going to do anyway because it was just too much, too much for me looking at it. I do overlap these as I'm doing them. But I just thought, I just can't face doing such a huge, well, huge for me canvas. I know some of you do the hundred and odds by hundred and odds. Um, I've not got the room for those to put them on the wall anywhere. I'm just going to put this one up that way. I've not got the room to do those anywhere at the moment. Um, and I've not got the room to put a picture that size either. So let's just put these last ones this way around. As I say, I do overlap them. And then depending on how much of the picture I actually want to dye and paint that day, I just move them around and tend to just do one little section at a time. Okay, so we've now got Scotty all nicely covered, all nice and flat, hopefully, ready to do. 
um i've got <laughs> just a, a sort of an inch well mm, three quarters of an inch an inch off that side and then this was quite a big chunk that i took off this side um and it has got my key code on it so i'll cut that down and use that but yeah i just oh gosh there's a great big river up there there's a great big river up there and i just thought i do diamond painting because i love it and i enjoy it and it's my little release from stress i am a full-time carer um and sometimes i just need to shut off and just do a little uh something for me and that's what diamond painting is so that's those bits cut off that's my scotty all prepared so let's get these drills sorted so i have checked all the drills off i'll just put mine in little bags there um, and i've got my there you are i ordered it on the 16th of july it's got 40 colors and it's around cost me 13 pound 55 and it's from you go top on aliexpress it is um double-sided tape as well which I'm not good with double-sided tape because I've said before I'm quite a heavy um, handed diamond painter and I do tend to like to move my drills into place and double-sided tape isn't that forgiving when you're moving things into place. Save that bag for later. Okay, so I've done my, this is a 60 case. Um, it's one of the nice little like, briefcase style ones with the handle on. And I'm not sure whether I got this on a deal at Amazon. I think I did. And it ha it was full of all different bits and bobs, which I've taken out. So it's the smaller bottle size. And if you saw my unboxing of my, um, oh gosh, was it out? I'll have to, I'll put a link down below of my other bottles. That's the black from this one, um, all in one bottle. So I'll probably just keep that one in there and pop it in uh, there. So we won't have any black in this one any black three tens so let's have a look let's get started on these bottles get my trusty scissors out and let's get started so i've put them in number order because i do tend to like to work on numbers but obviously these are all in dmc and they are in dmc code order as well so It'll be easier for kitting down if I use them with DMC codes. I'm still getting used to which way around I want to do things. So that's 3031. Let's get a tray to stand it in as well. These two little packets should go in here, okay. Um, this one did come with an inventory sheet as well, which again, oh, that's the picture, a little bit bigger picture. As I say, I've just sliced it off about there and about there so we're more or less an even side of the size of green at either side of the scotty uh, and that's your 40 colors there as i say tick them all off there i wonder if i had one missing there but i have got some spares so we'll have a look as we go through okay actually i'll put that up there the symbols are really difficult to see as well i don't know if you can see that there they're quite darkish on here and the dark on the canvas as well so i'm gonna have some real fun doing this but i have got my magnifying light and hopefully that will be good enough for me to be able to do this okay so let's get these into here and get started okay where's my little bin i don't want bits all over just put that one up my side there so i know what i'm doing and six four six oh, put that lid back on there oh look there's a blue drill there i managed to uh, open a bag and spilt a load of drills i'm picking them up all over at the moment as well and i am trying to keep them because i don't know how many i need for the picture i haven't started it yet so it's not good okay so six four six let's have a look um, there it is Hey, what's uh, everybody up to at the moment? I hope you're all keeping safe. I know the weather's not been brilliant recently. These are quite full, so I'll just do them maybe one at a time. Don't have to be losing them. I'm good at spilling. Uh, we had snow up until last night when we got rain, and the rain has washed away all the snow now. And Millie, our little Scotty dog, is absolutely heartbroken because she loved it. 
Oh, and it's Millie's fourth birthday today as well. So we don't put them in there. We don't really do <laughs> birthday parties or anything for um, the dog. We do put it on Facebook and all our little Scotty friends on Facebook and uh, Instagram will say happy birthday to her, which is nice. 938. Let's have a look. Uh, she did get an extra treat, but she got so many toys and treats at Christmas. Uh, yes, we spoil the dog. That uh, we haven't really bought her a lot for a birthday. We usually, um, when we're not in lockdown, take her to our pets at home store. Um, you can take dogs in there. It is a, a pet shop and she goes and sits. She literally just sits down in front of the rabbit pen and watches the rabbits and that's what she likes to do. She doesn't bark at them or growl at them or anything. She just sits on a bottom and just watches them and just thinks it's marvellous. And they don't seem to be overly bothered by her, I, I guess because they're in... Um, such a big pet shop it's a large multinational chain and um, to anybody who's not in this country i don't know whether you have pets at home in other countries um but yeah she yeah that's her treat and then we let her well she goes and chooses whatever toy she wants <laughs> um i think last time she got a squeaky carrot which was quite bizarre and uh, 3860 top of the house okay so yeah, so that's what we've been up to. Okay, let's get that one in there. Not many of those. So I'm going to have quite a lot of these colours left over, particularly the greens, but so be it. I say that they don't look too bad in the bags, but honestly, the last one that I did was terrible. And when I saw the canvas on this one, I just thought, oh, I'm just going to put off doing this. So I have real trouble reading gold writing. Three eight two three is that? Three eight two three, yeah. So my uh, second eye operation has worked more or less. Um my eyesight is slightly better than it was when I had it done, but it's not gonna be a hundred percent unfortunately. So which isn't great when you work with computers, but hey ho, um, I just do a four hour shift and that seems to sort of let me be able to see. Oh look, I'm making a mess of these. Okay, go on in, get in, get in, get in. Um, I am hoping to do another whip and chat, probably on this canvas actually. Um, I do want to get this one done. Uh, I will do a video of my craft room as well, I think, and show you that. And you, and you can see my pictures of my Scotties on the wall. So what's that one? Seven, seven, gosh, I can't read these. Gold. Seven, seven, eight. Look. Do you know, I put these in order that I do drill because I like to go that way, that way, that way, and that way. And it just completely confused me trying to get up with this. So. <laughs> Nobody else to blame but myself. Right, what's this colour? Three seven nine nine. That's that. One. It always amazes me when you're doing animals and things. The colours that are in them. There doesn't seem to be particularly any bright colours in this one. Um, but I know the custom that I did of uh, Millie. Um, that it had pinks and purples and all sorts of it. And you look at it and you think, where did pinks and purples go? But it's just for all the shading. And obviously, you know, if you get real close up, you, you can see all the different colours. But uh, from a distance, it just all merges. And I think once you've got colours all together, all done, then, you know, you don't see the different colours. It just gives you the shading and your shadows. I'll put that one to last because that one's going to be quite a big one. What's this one? That one's 3078. So 30 is up that end. It's there. Yeah. So I'll be quite pleased to get this one started. At the moment, I'm working on my coronavirus canvas. 
and that one's um, a poured glue canvas and the drills are seeming really good and it's just I'm just steaming ahead with it you know I've got lots and lots of it done which I'm really pleased about um, and you know that's what I like doing just sitting and relaxing and just diamond painting away was that no yeah that's some more 307 let's look not doing the job very well here. Maybe I should have put these in number order first before I started doing them. I've got a butterfly mind. It fits from one thing to the next. <laughs> As my mum would say. <laughs> oh dear. So, we're day after Valentine's Day. Did anybody do anything nice for Valentine's? Um, unfortunately, here... It was just washing and pottering around and tidying up and playing with the dog and doing all things like that. So we didn't do anything special um, and we didn't do cards this year either. So, but never mind, what we will do, we'll catch up on other years, uh, other years to come. Uh, So I'm fairly new on this uh, YouTube channel at the moment, just trying to build up my subscribers. So if you get anybody that likes diamond painting or wants to come along, get them to pop along. Or if you've got any questions, you know, please ask any questions you need to ask. Um, my family are like, oh, OK, <laughs> apart from my six year old granddaughter who said to her mum, well, aren't we lucky having a YouTuber in the family? She's uh, quite impressed, so there you are, I've got impressed my six-year-old granddaughter. Okay, seven, three, one. It's nice to know I can still impress. <laughs> okay, so we're still in lockdown as well, which isn't brilliant. But it has to be done. Uh, we're still waiting. Oh doing it again look we're still waiting for our injections as well but we will get those uh, the parents have had them um, they had to go quite a way to get them but you know it's better to have to go quite a way to get them than not get them at all And I must admit, I'm not really watching the news a whole amount at the moment. I just have a quick look at the headlines and then I don't bother anymore because it's just too upsetting. Okay, what have we got now? I've got 471. What's that one? I wonder if all these will fit in. I think they will. I think I've had six in them before. I I should have done them into two, shouldn't I? Let's put them there. I know what I'm doing. So these little packets have about 200 drills in each one and usually you get plenty left over so you don't need to worry too much about running out but we'll see. So the joys of buying from, oops, a cheaper company. There's my little picker-upper. This is just my little brush with a little sticky end on which is great i did have to secure it with some uh, silicon gel to stop this from coming off but that's just being a godsend um, i have got one of those little hoovers as well for picking up drills but what i'm finding is because it's ugh, i must have got a really powerful one because it's so powerful it picks up all the dust and dirt and anything else that's around it. Oh, i'm doing it again <laughs> concentrate liz it picks up uh, all the dust and dirt around it as well. So you end up with dirty drills. Um, I can't be doing with that. I made the mistake of thinking, oh, right, well, I'll just wash them off. Took all the shine off the drills. Don't know what happened there. Ended up not being able to use those drills. So that wasn't very good. Just pick that one up. Okay. That's that one in there. I photocopied the content sheet and I just put it through my Xyron sticker maker just to make all my labels for my bottles. You can handwrite them or you can chop up your sheet. I like to keep the sheet and as I say these drills aren't easy to see. Um, sorry these yeah the, the symbols aren't easy to see 
so I want as much help as I can get while I'm doing this one. Uh, I just photocopied them and did it that way. Let's see if we can do three at once. <laughs> we can try. Yes, get in there. My writing's terrible as well, so there's no way that I would ever try and handwrite labels uh, unless it was just a number and then possibly, but on the whole, trying to draw a symbol or trying to write anything out, I'd just never read it. It'd be pointless. <laughs> That's my one for my three tens look, which are all in there. So I'm just going to pop them in there for now. The lid probably won't shut with that in there, but I'll sort that out later. Okay, three, three, four, six. Where are we? Three, three, four, six. Okay, so just get all this done. We are waiting for a new car at the moment. We have to have um, disability adaptions to it. Um, it was due to come in December. We ordered it in September. Um, I'm three, three, four, six, nine, 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 nine. Yeah, I must put all these out the way, otherwise I'm going to get confused. Uh, yeah, we ordered it in September, and they said, "Oh, it's going to be December." And then they rang us up and said, "Oh, we're not doing that model anymore. We're going to have to reorder it." They told us to order it in diesel. Um, and we can't have diesel anymore, it has to be a petrol car, which is what we'd wanted in the first place, but they said they didn't do them in petrol. <laughs> oh dear, sometimes I just think the world's gone mad. Uh, so yeah, we're now waiting. December came along, I say, they rang up and said, oh no, we're not doing that one, so now they're telling us it will be March. So we're waiting for March. See whether we actually get the car then. We still do have a tiny car, but at the moment it's not ideal. We do need something bigger for, uh, to accommodate us at the moment. So we'll see how we go. Right, what's the next colour? That's a big colour. Let's try and get rid of some of these lifties first. Okay, oh, that's better. I can read red. Six, four, seven. Six, 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 six four, seven. A lot of greys in this as well. I'm presuming this is shading on the Scotty. Oh, look, I've not cut them. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no, look. Yeah, my vision, it's uh, my depth of field that tends to be out. Um, I am getting used to it. I, I can't see out the middle of my right eye. Um, well, I say I can't see. I can see sometimes and sometimes it's very very blurry um but yeah it's <laughs> as you can see it tends to, it's great if you're drinking a cup of tea because you, you can't tell um whether you're near the bottom or not and quite often i've thought there's been uh less oh, just escapees less in the uh thing than there actually in the cup than there actually was and i managed to tip it all down my front but I am quite clumsy anyway, so that's <laughs> pretty standard for me. Six, four, five, that must be somewhere near here. Um, let's get, uh, oops. I've been trying to have a look um, at different companies for diamond paintings, so I can do a few reviews on those and make it right pig's ear of this. That's because my eyes are getting tired now as well. So, let's just get in there. <laughs> do you pick up the last drills or do you just chuck them away? I must admit, I've got my jar. Oh, look. I've got my jar with um, odd drills in. Look, it's definitely don't want to go in right. That's it. You've had your chance. You'll be going in my jar later. Tip you out the way over there. Okay, four, four, another grey colour. Look, it's come back again. G 
do you know this little monster you can just go away and join that one over there and they'll all get tipped into my jar four one four uh, talking of my granddaughter um the last time they could come um which was last summer we've not seen a lot of them unfortunately we have five grandchildren uh, three of them unfortunately we've not seen for a year and then due to circumstances and things uh, oh that's oh gosh what's that one to say so that's three seven eight one let's tip them out and see if i can read them better without the drills in the bag oh no that's made it worse uh, i've got something dark i can put behind it That's 3781. Let's have a look. Yeah, we haven't got any in that one, so fingers crossed. I'll keep that bag out, and then if I find that I've got another one that's a bit clearer with that on it, then uh, I'll keep that bag there. And then I can always go back and swap them out. Oh dear, right, let's do these little ones. 3 3. I wish they'd done them all in red. I can read the red. <laughs> Do see me put any of these in the wrong one, please holler out. Otherwise, I'm gonna be having a funny looking painting. But to be fair, with most of these colours, there's only odd ones I think that if they were in the wrong place that you'd notice. Three, three six, four. And I'm gonna have a lot of green left. My spare storage is going to be really, really full. <laughs> I do enjoy the kitting up, I have to say. 3047. If I could read the... Uh, 3047. If I could read the, the, the bag sign. I don't know whether you can read those, but I just find that the gold is really difficult to read. And why can't they do it black? You'd think that black ink would be, oh mind you, I think sometimes they rub off, but you'd think black uh, ink would actually be cheaper than gold ink. Might be easier to do. Right, oh my goodness. What is that one? Seven, three, eight, is that? Is that seven, three, eight? Yeah, that looks like a seven, three, eight. Oh gosh. If you ever get these and you're not sure which way around, the numbers go if you look at where the um the sealed end of the packet is and the just folded over end of the packet they will all be consistent on all of them so that does make it a little bit easier to see which way around it goes if you just look at your other packets it will help you doing these all right three oh three two Sorry, this is going to be quite a long video. Do them as fast as I possibly can. Oops, get those in there. And that's a couple of little ones. Four, one, five. There's another one of those grey ones escaped there. Do you know, I'll probably find them stuck somewhere. Oh, yesterday I'll insert a picture, but it was just so funny. Um, I was doing a, a de-kitting, just putting some drills away, and unfortunately I sneezed while I was doing it. Drills everywhere, Choo! everywhere. Millie was laid at my feet and ended up covered in little white drills. And that was really, really funny. Well, it was funny for me. It wasn't funny for her. I'm going to have to tip these ones out as well because I can't read that. Is that eight, three, four? Um, I hope this isn't going to be the shape of things to come with this canvas. Sadly, I think it might be. But hey, ho. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. At least it's uh, a good few centimetres smaller now than it was. Quite a bit less to do. So what have we got left? Few 
separate little colours there. Got loads of those bits. That's quite a 3371, yeah, that's a dark colour. That's quite a lot of that one. I have to do the smaller ones first and get those out of the way. So, 677, it must be, it looks like a 3 to me, but that must be 6 because it starts at 165, so it's not a 3. Uh, no. Uh, I think that must be 677. Yeah, put that one in there. Oops, well, up there, want to be done next. They're trying to jump and then be sick of being in the book in the little bags. <laughs> okay, that one's 733. 733? 738. Have we got a 7? Oh, we've got a 733 under 738. We've got 738, we've done 738 already, so these must be 733 then. Oh dear me. That's, I mean, it's not absolutely disastrous with a canvas like this. Um, I think if you're doing faces and things, it would make a massive difference if you get some of the drills in the wrong place. But a canvas like this, it, it's so many colours that are similar. Um, and close together that I don't think it's 782 are going to make a huge difference and we can always just swap them out or as I showed in one of my previous videos you can use your alcohol marker pens, pro markers <gasps> Liz what are you doing? to uh, just colour over them again No sweep the floor before this and package this one up. Seven three nine. That one. Okay. Yeah, I sat and sadly, oh dear, what things I do? I sat and sorted out all my little ziplock bags, zip seal bags, my baggies yesterday into size order. <laughs> All the ones that um, were really, really thin and no good. I just got rid of them. So I've now just got thicker little baggies to reuse rather than fighting with the really, really tiny ones that they're just so thin. A lot of them are ones that you get when you get your tool kits. They come with a few baggies, um, the little grip seal bags. And... Uh, they tend to be like way for thin. The plastic they just wouldn't hold anything. I mean, if you sneezed it, it'd probably come apart. So I tend to, uh, with those, just not use them. They're just no good. And I think, why am I keeping all these bags? They're just no use to anybody. Three, seven, eight, seven. So I got rid of them. Being ruthless. <laughs> the next thing to do, I've sorted all my green trays out and all my pink pens i think i'm gonna have to find those a new home and um, if anybody is wanting some green trays or pink pens just send me a message i'll send you them just maybe charge you the postage it depends where you live <laughs> um let me just get those because they're different colors come here you little rap scallion that's a Oh no, that's a totally different colour. Let me put those in my little pile out the way over there to go in my jar. Okay, 844. We're coming to the end now. We'll get in there. Okay. I don't know whether any of you watch other YouTubers. I've got quite a few um, favourites that I watch and other things I like to watch. I've got quite into watching these um, coin pushers where people put coins in <laughs> to the machines and it pushes the tray and pushes things out the other end. And some of them are so nail-biting to watch because it always seems to be you get down to your last coin and then they don't come off. <laughs> And you think, oh, if I'd have just had one more, I'd have won. I suppose that's how uh, gambling works. It, 
to get shoes. Oh, it's just the one more. But, oh dear. Got quite into watching those. And obviously the diamond paintings. I've got lots of diamond painting people. And I love the community. It just seems so friendly. And uh, I do listen sometimes while I'm working. Um, some of the work I do is a little bit repetitive. So I do tend to... Uh, I don't want to cut that one very well. Come on, get out. Get out. I don't want to have to cut it again because I'll get them all. Oh, I've got them all over anyway. <laughs> uh, while I'm working, I do sometimes listen to some of the whip and chats and some of the true crime stories. There's a few um, of the creators doing true crime stories now. And some of those are quite horrific. Oh, look. Doing it again. Bits everywhere. Let's get rid of the bits. I do like listening to those. We watch quite a bit of um, true crime on the television as well. Hubby um, always says to me, you do realise if uh, anything happens to me, they'll be looking at you. <laughs> For all the true crime you watch. <laughs> oh dear. in the smaller ones that's a what does that say 372 is it it's a bit clearer why couldn't they all look like that all right 472 See how many of the definitely the bigger packets would have gone in my other storage, but unfortunately, the other storage I've got is only 38, and I need 40 for this one. And it would have been two cases, and then it just gets a bit bulky and a bit too much when you're uh, 7472. Yeah, it is. When you're diamond painting, I do like to be able to um, just have a small space and then I'm not knocking things over if I have to jump up to sort anything out. As I say, I'm a full time carer, so I do tend to uh, need to be available. And diamond painting is one of those things where you could just put it down and pick it up and it just so much easier and you don't need a lot of equipment you can just sit there in a small space and all you need is your pen you actually your boat and your canvas and your drills however you want those organized and just diamond paint away although some people don't look at you and tend to think goodness me what on earth are you doing sticking all those little bits of plastic on that canvas <laughs> Oh, look, I've not cut that one properly either. Get out, get out. I'll tell you what, why don't we just open all these packets and put them in this tray rather than messing about, seeing how many we can get in there. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to use my little extra little bottles or whether I'm going to put them into a bag. I'll see it would involve me having to write and I don't know what I'm going to do with the writing because uh, the writing is terrible so let's see where we go oh, by the time I've messed about with these I could have had a boat <laughs> alright so let's have a look we'll get a few of these in here So that's as many as we're going to get in there. Look, there's a stray one in there as well. That's not me. I've only just opened these. Oh, I could get a few more in, but I'm going to be using another container. What I think I'm going to do then. No, I'm going to use baggies. Where's my little bags that I've got? 
so I saw this happen, sorted them all out into size and thickness order yesterday. <laughs> Should have been using my Wilson's tray. Oh, dear. Just pick all the ones up off my knee. If Millie had been here, she'd have been covered as well. Let's get all these picked up. Oh, I love this little sticky pen. It's brilliant. I wonder if I can scrape them all in off the edge. Let's see. Oh, yes, without getting them everywhere. Right. Last one, and then what I'm going to do is just put one of these little packets in with it so I know what number it is. And so I might not even use these because these are the greens, and then I'll just pop that into my lid. If you can see that there's a like a, a little catch area there, a little pocket at the top there, and I'll just pop those into there. Right, so let's see how many of these that we've got. Let's see if I can throw these all over as well. Oh, look, I'm doing it already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be doing things when I'm tired. Hey ho. Right, I'm going to try and scrape these in again. I think we'll end up with damp beads on this canvas before I even start. <laughs> All right. Is that 580? 580. Let's have a look. I think we'll do them a bit at a time on this one. And then we'll know how many need to go in a bag. Get it up. Oh, that's a bit of plastic there. We'll get a few more in there. Take that bit of plastic out of there as well. Let's do another three because we know we can get six in. Okay, so these bags are 200, so you can hold about 1200 in these little bottles. going to put any more in that one. I'm going to put all those into a bag. If they'll fit. So it will just make it easier if they're all in a bag. Um, for then when I'm putting down just to pop into my storage for all my spare drills. wanting uh, storage videos um, then the best one that I've seen um, and it's my opinion but is uh, Rebecca four kids at 147 her storage system is absolutely fantastic and I've tried other things and that is now what I'm following um, and she has just opened on her shop for kids at 147.com and um, labels and all the bits and pieces to set up your own storage well most of the bits and pieces to set up your own storage system like hairs just pop that bag in there with that one that's flattened down I will put a link down below and um, to Rebecca Short mind me mentioning and um, yeah she's just opened her shop and she can pop along there and uh, so go and just throw these first into twos and buy any bits. I'm certainly going to be ordering some. I mean I've printed out some of my own but she's got some new styles now with diamonds on and everything and they look absolutely wonderful. 
so I'm going to pop along there and uh, purchase some from her, support her a new little venture. She certainly taught me a lot about diamond painting. And I think that's the other thing with diamond painting, you know, there's no right or wrong. And if you make a mistake, well, they're not really mistakes, they're easily rectified, but everybody's doing the same thing. Um, and I've just thrown those away now without... Oh no, it's <laughs> 3371. So yeah, I'll link uh, Rebecca down below. Um, Three, three, oh, it's there, look. Yeah, diamond painting, you know, it's it's how you want to do it. Um, we all find our own style. This, I mean, basically, we're all just putting little plastic beads onto a canvas with a little pen with a sticky bit on the end. Um, but sometimes other people's techniques work a little bit better possibly than a technique that you've got and it just helps to see how somebody else does things and then eventually you get your own way of doing things but at the moment I wouldn't follow my way of opening these bags and tipping them out because <laughs> I'm spilling more than I'm actually doing <laughs> but so uh, hey, you know you know At the end of the day, it's enjoyment. You need to enjoy it. it. You need to relax and be happy with what you're doing. And that's why this canvas, um, I decided to chop the edges off because I just knew I wouldn't enjoy doing it as much as I wanted to. I love the Scotty Dog image, but it's just not a brilliant canvas. It's not going to be as enjoyable to do as some of the ones that I've done. So I thought, well, I'll do a bit less of it. And that's what I'm going to do. And it's my canvas. And at the end of the day, you can do what you like with your canvas. Pop that in there. And pop that in there. And then the last one, which is 936. 936. Pop that one's there. Let me just double check, have we got all of the drills now? As I say, when I check the inventory, I've put a question mark next to one of them, as though I've got one missing. It looks like we're good to go. Oh, I do like the drills when they're all sparkly. There's a lot of green in this. Ah, no, oh, 310. Well, yeah, we've got the 310 over there. We know about the 310. So, yeah, we have got them all. So that's good. So I can throw that packet away now because there isn't that one missing. That was the correct number that I managed to find. Right, I'm going to put these into two because then they're a bit more manageable. So that's the six for there. And then another six for the baggage. Okay. Excuse me, just one second. Somebody's moaning to come in. You wanted to come in? <laughs> what are you doing? Come, are you coming in? Alright, Billy is now come in with a biscuit, so I shall be over in this carpet later on. Sometimes I think my life is just spent opening doors for the dog, closing doors when the dog comes in, opening doors for the dog, closing doors for the dog when the dog comes in. But that's how my life seems to go. I'm putting these in here first, aren't I? So let's see if I can get them in without spilling them. Oops, I do like the trays that have got the little shield over the top. So my Wilson's tray that I got, it worked out with the postage, a very expensive tray, um, but it's been worth the money. Get rid of that diamond over there. 
so I don't want to overfill these because when I tip things out I am quite clumsy so and then just the last ones that you're all cheering yay thank goodness thank goodness she's got them done okay another escapee look I've never picked them up my hands always seem to be really dry these days it's maybe the cold weather I know certainly when I was doing an awful lot of card making the um, cards seemed to suck the life out of your hands I was forever putting hand cream on when I was card making a lot okay so let's get these into this baggie oh come on i do use a tumble dryer sheet as well on my trays and i do tend to find it stops the drills sticking quite so much that's that one so we've not done so bad um we've only got four that are larger bags so that's not so bad so they'll just sit in there so i'll sort my three tens out later Put my baggies back away, put my label, these are one of the labels that um, Rebecca's, uh, well Megan's designed with Rebecca there, There's another spare drill there, just escaping, put all the bits out the way, put the tweezers away, okay put that one in there, the spare one, so that's that one done, that's the canvas all nicely, look under the spare drill, they're everywhere, and we're all done so sorry it's been a bit of a long video but thanks for watching it turned into a bit more of a whip and chat as well if you've enjoyed what you've seen please like and subscribe and i'll see you all again soon bye for now